Uh, let's now discuss the stories that have got you talking today. We're delighted to welcome Giles Brandreth in the studio and at home, uh, Toff. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good to see you. Good to be with you. We have Good. a solution to your holiday problems. Yeah. You've just given it to us. Photoshop everything. Yes. Don't go anywhere. Yes. Just create photos. Stay in the garden. Yeah. Stay in the garden, if you've got a garden. Yeah. Stay in the window box, if you've got a window box, and just make fun <laughs> photographs. Toff, you'd you be good at that, with all your Instagram things. I bet you'd be good at that, just pretending you're somewhere. Darling, love it. So up my strata. And actually, Charles, you just made me think, in London, I do only have a little flower box, no garden, so it would work a treat. I need you to do a picture today for me of pretending to be somewhere, to Photoshop it, or whatever you clever young people do, <laughs> it, with your window box. It's all in the mind. Who needs to swim in the sea when you've got a bath? Get into your bathing costume. Instead of going naked into the bath, put on your swimming outfit, get into the bath, give yourself a little drink with a, a little umbrella sticking in it, and think, hey, <laughs> that's it. Day. And, then, and, and the nurse will be around later. <laughs> a, lot of people, a lot of people did that, didn't they, last year in lockdown who couldn't go away. There were some really, really clever Great ones. Fun. People Good pretending to be on aeroplanes when they were just by the window. Well, you mightn't be going anywhere well, no. with the, uh, the pingdemic, as it's called. And now, criticise the government has released a list of 16 areas, 16 yes. sectors, where if you're fully vaccinated, you may be exempt from isolation. If you are in energy, civil, nuclear, digital infrastructure, food production, if you're a vet, essential chemicals, a whole list of things. But it's quite a tight list and already people are complaining, look, we're going to have even more empty supermarket shelves, the country's going to grind to a halt, there are going to be a million people being pinged, what are we going to do? The government is saying by the 16th of August we will have rolled out a sufficient number of vaccines that we can release all this. At the moment it's a tension between, it's the race is on, between getting release happening and getting vaccines delivered. But we were delivered. talking about this yesterday, saying that, you know, food... It was very difficult to get lorry drivers to get the food kind of delivered yep. to where it needs yes, to go. You, you can get it and to those, the shop, but you can't yes. get it on the shelf. And so it's interesting today... I mean, that was being discussed in a lot of shows yesterday, including this one, that today, you know, yesterday there was this kind of turnaround and saying, OK, we, they can be exempt, but the, the shop staff, you know, people that stack the shelves, the checkout staff, they're not exempt. So it seems odd you can get the food there, but are you going to be able to get it out onto the shop floor? Ruth, you speak and the government listens. So gradually what was going to happen <laughs> over the next few days is I think we're going to get more and more exemptions to this. They're just trying to keep the thing under control mm. so it doesn't get out of control as the vaccine is finally delivered to more and more people. What's your experience, Toff? Yeah, I mean, I'm thrilled that the list has actually been released, finally. I assume that it was probably in light of Rishi Sunak and Boris last weekend trying to skirt around their own isolation rules that they are making the whole country enforce. Of course, we saw them do another mega U-turn, as they seem to be doing all the time throughout this pandemic. As I said, as happy as I am, I don't think it goes far enough. Yes, I understand that in a few weeks things might change, but for the past few months, Every single vulnerable person has been offered two sets of vaccines. Most of the young have had one, if not two. It's the height of summer. We are all socialising outside. I worry that we will be at a perpetual standstill for the rest of time if the government don't grant true freedom to our citizens. If not now, when? That is always the question, Jazz. What isn't it? we've if not now, when? Government. What we have discovered is this double jab is reducing trans... It's not reducing transmission as, as much as we hoped. We thought, I thought naively, I'm jabbed, I'm safe. Not so. You can still get it, you can still pass it on. What it's reducing is the severity of the illness if it hits you. So it's reducing hospitalisation and death, but not necessarily halting transmission. So, yes, if not now, when? That's what the government's thinking. Well, now, slowly, slowly by August, we hope, completely, because there aren't schools, it is summer, do yeah, it well, now. Yeah, we're talking of schools, um, saying a new study has found that daily rapid testing of school pupils who are uh, close contacts of a COVID case is a safer alternative than home isolation um, and doesn't lead to the virus being spread. So it's interesting this has come out literally the day that most of the schools, I believe, are breaking up today. For yes, summer. but the research has been done. This is brilliant news, you're absolutely right. I think a million children were off school. A million were pinged to go home the last week of term. Now holidays have come, we're hearing that, in fact, uh, tests, rapid tests on a daily basis would be more effective, as effective, as isolation. So once the autumn comes, if this is still going on, rapid testing is going to be the answer. 
and so not so much isolation. Yeah, I think they're removing that, the self-isolate in mid-August, so be ready for when, they, when yeah. they go back to school. I mean, it has been terrible, terribly difficult, Toff, hasn't it, for families and homeschooling? And, you know, are the children going to be at school? Aren't they going to be at school, especially for working parents? Exactly. I find it really, really worrying. Like Giles said, a million children were off school last week. It's awful. I just think there is such an important debate to be had sooner rather than later about the cost to all these children and the long term effects that we will be seeing about this really inadequate education that everyone has been receiving. And this study that we're talking about, there is a 0.1, yes, 0.1% difference between the children that stayed at home and the children that were sent back and they did the daily testing. I mean, I could just turn my hair out at how sluggish our government is in response to all of this real-time scientific data. We've got to get grooving. It's a shame that the whole of the last term wasn't done that way. It appears I get about three things stuck up my nose um, a, a week yeah. um, <laughs> for, for, for something. There's always something. Yeah.